Good morning, or depending on what you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice radio, so I think it's probably time we looked at that new Berserker card. Now, I didn't realise there was going to be a new Berserker card. Turns out there is a new Berserker card. When I showed you the new Meowth yesterday, the new Galarian Meowth, I had no idea about a new Berserker card. Well, in the ensuing few hours, one has been revealed, and it's been revealed officially on the Japanese website, etc. So it's time we had a look at it. Now, for anyone wondering, it is in the Zacian and Zema Zenta box over in Japan. And as it turns out, the only exclusive cards in that box are the Zacian and Zema Zenta we previously looked at. I'll pop a link to that video in the description. And the Meowth and Berserker shown here. So, just th just those four cards. But you know what? Still exclusive cards. Still worth having a gander at. Although, ironically, it probably is the Galarian Meowth, which is the best of them. So, starting off with Galarian Berserker then, in terms of the basics, it's got 120 HP. Which is fine. It's in line with the other one. It's alright. It's not great, but it'll do. Retreat cost of two is in line with the other one. It means you get free retreat with Balloon, which is seeing a fair amount of play. Weakness to Fire is to be expected. The amount of Welded X running around is awkward, but it's not the end of the world. And the resistance to Grass is nice. It's always nice to have a resistance. Yay! Really, it's being a metal Pokemon that we love here. Weakness on Fairy Pokemon like Gardevoir and Sylveon, but it also means you can use Metal Saucer to accelerate energy. The other Galarian Berserker to do an extra 20 damage on your attacks. Metal Saucer to accelerate energy to it on the bench from the discard pile. There is a lot to like here is my point. Now, as a quick side note, in yesterday's video, I suggested to you that the new Galarian Meowth would probably have a retreat cost of 1. Yeah, it turns out it doesn't. Turns out it's got a retreat cost of 2. My apologies, I had no way of knowing. So we know we like Galarian Meowth. And we know we like Galarian Berserker. The question is, how do we feel about this new one? This new Galarian Berserker, does it stack up? Is it any good? Well, starting off with the first attack, frankly, ladies and gentlemen, we're not impressed. Really at all. Two energy, 50 damage. Yeah, I mean, come on. It's two energy on a stage one, and I know we've got Metal Saucer to accelerate energy. I get that, but I'm still just looking at this like, why? What is even the point? I mean, we can do a lot better. Is it better than free energy, 70 damage on the other Meowth? Yes, I suppose. And there are some Pokemon around that it will KO. I mean, Frostmoth's looking really good now. And that's got 90 HP and a weakness to metal, so you will get a KO on that. Uh, a Ditto Prism Star's got 40 HP, so that's going down. But come on. If we're putting two energy onto a stage one, we expect more and we just ain't getting it. So let's swiftly move on to the second attack, shall we? Now our translation here... Now, I've seen it from the lovely Primal Lugia. He is the one that shared it. I don't believe it came from somebody else. If it turns out it did, I will correct it in the description. But that's where I got it from at the moment. And what you do is you flip three coins. And for each heads that you flip, you do 80 damage. This has the potential to be absolutely gigantic. This has the potential to be enormous. If you flip three heads, you're doing 240 damage. 240 damage is huge. Now, it's not actually perfect. Now, if I'm talking about this, right, one of the main Pokemon I'm looking at, 240 damage, well, it's Pikachu and Zekrom, isn't it? Well, the problem is that Pikachu and Zekrom does have 240 HP, also has a resistance to metal. So you'll come along getting a KO, except you won't actually get a KO, and that, that's going to be kind of annoying. You're going to be 20 damage, sure. Now, you can use the other Berserker, 
Although it is worth pointing out at this stage that it is actually called Galarian Berserker, like the other one. It's not called Berserker. I'm not entirely sure why they've gone with that naming convention. As far as I'm aware, in the game proper, the name is Berserker. Berserker evolves from Galarian Meowth. There isn't really such a thing as a Galarian Berserker. It doesn't really matter. It's just a little bit weird. But you can use the other Galarian Berserker to do an extra 20 damage. And then you do hit through the resistance, which sounds quite nice. Although, if we do remember that the winning list over in Japan this past weekend, weekend ago, very recently a big tournament happened over in Japan... And that was won by a Pikachu and Zekrom. And one of the things that they were playing was Giant Charm to get around the whole Zacian V thing, being the best deck in the format at the moment. So my point is, you're not even necessarily getting a KO on them, which is slightly worrying. Now, at this stage, it is worth pointing out, you can have a maximum of three of the other Galarian Berserker out. Remember, it's limited to four of any Pokemon, so you would have to be playing one of these with which to attack, and then you'd get three of the other one. Also worth pointing out that it's 80 damage for each head, and you cannot add damage onto nothing. That means that if you flip three tails, and that is kind of a 12.5% chance, even if you've got three of the other Galarian Berserker out, you still won't actually do any damage, because if you're not doing any damage to begin with, you cannot add any damage to that. So really, it just comes down to how lucky you're feeling. If you hit one heads here, which should be a given, you're hitting 80 damage for free energy. And okay, it is 10 more than the other Galarian Berserker, except the other Galarian Berserker's got the amazing ability, so it's actually not. If you hit two heads, it's 160 for free energy. And to be fair, 160 for free energy is pretty gosh darn good. If you hit three heads, it's 240 for free energy. And it's over the top phenomenal. With three of the other Galarian Berserker, it's 300 for free energy. And even something like a Magikarp and Waylord, or to keep the Meowth theme going, a Gigantamax Meowth. Or VMAX Meowth. Going down in one hit. But that's a lot to ask for. At this stage, we're asking for four stage ones and a 12.5% chance of hitting three coins heads in a row, which is possible. And the thing to remember here, it's probably worth pointing out, and I'll pop a link to the video in the description. But that Galarian Meowth we looked at yesterday does have the ability that lets you search for a Galarian Berserker. So you can actually get it out super easily here. But I still think most of the time using the Meowth, you're going to be just grabbing the other Berserker. I mean, we've got Metal Saucer to accelerate energy, and that's quite lovely. And if you really want, we've got the Stage 2 Magnazone, or we've got Solgaleo Prism Star. So we do have ways to get the energy on there. But really, we need to look at this in the context of other Metal Pokemon hitting for free Metal Energy. And we can look at something like Zacian V. Free energy, 230. And it's got the ability that lets you draw free cards. But if any of them are metal energy, you get to attach them to Zacian. Now the ability ends your turn and the attack says you can't use it next turn. But come on, there's plenty of ways around all of that. So we'd probably rather be having the energy on Zacian, even though it's a two-prize Pokemon. And if you want a single-prize Pokemon and you want a Stage 1, how about Copperaja? And I mention it quite a lot, but it's really very good. Free Metal Energy 220. Now, to be fair, if there are eight or more damage counters on, the attack does fail. But just heal it with stuff like Mallow and Lana, you'll probably be all right. And that's 20 damage less than hitting three heads on Galarian Berserker. And I think that's my problem here. If we had a card like the old Victini, or indeed Trick Coin, that allowed us to reflip to try and get the flips we were looking at, then I might be far more inclined to enjoy this and, and to want to play this. And certainly if you're playing the other Galarian Berserker, and if you're playing Galarian Meowth to help search it out, Maybe have this in there as an emergency attack. I'm going to lose the game. I've got nothing. Let's flip three coins. I might get a giant KO. You never know. But I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. It, it does seem, um, it does seem kind of awkward. 
But at this stage, I'd like to know how you feel about all of this. I oh wait, no, we haven't given you a um we haven't given you a score yet, have we? How rude of me. Let's give this between two and three wassies. We don't give half wassies. That would be barbaric. Not a terrible card, and I could certainly see some love for it in a pre-release or limited format. I just don't think it's good enough. And I don't think we would want to play it over other Pokemon. Sorry. But hey, I'd like to know what you think. So let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wassie, And Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv. Slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. And please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash Plays, where we talk about a whole bunch of games that don't have any Pokemon in. But by far the most important thing is always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.